coming up. Norman. Norman, I'm sorry. I. <laughs> he said his favorite words are. He said he's a disability activist. Yeah. Right? Well, sort of. Only 10 years and under. Do you think I passed? Come on, guys. Huh? I don't have a favorite word, but it reminds me of an anecdote about Jimmy Carter. <laughs> It was said that Jimmy Carter's favorite color was platinum, which merely means, which is why all those, all that you run into, especially in New Jersey, people are gung-ho about George W. Bush. He could do no wrong, blah, blah, blah. All he did was get up there and be forceful and, and arrogant. Um, to say what they, what, to say about Carter that his favorite color was plaid means Carter was open-minded and saw different sides to things. And we still don't, perhaps, and especially young people, we don't, uh, what we lost in Carter when he was voted out was unspeakable. Um, I don't have any favorite words in this camera, so I can put that with um, oh. This is a list of modern things. I had poetry in here at one time. Let me see if it's still here. Because of a scattered life, uh, it's hard sometimes to get organized. But fortunately, I live on SSI. I have a hidden disability, and poor people in New Jersey are not allowed to have that disability. Yeah, really. And um, if you're a child from a poor marginal background, two pieces per person. All right. So I don't have the piece that I thought I had, so I've got to do it from memory. All right. This isn't poetry either, but it bears saying that a lot going on out there doesn't meet the eye. <coughs> Agencies are covering up. They're not helping. Children from poor marginal backgrounds aren't even considered developmentally delayed. They are, quote, schizophrenic. Well, and if they are considered developmentally delayed, they still don't get what they need. <coughs> this is my signature. That's all I called the malingerer goes to the movies. <coughs> You're sitting there, it's getting harder to breathe. It seems like a little man, like a gnome, has crept up the back of your seat and, and dropped a net in, in, your, in your head, over your brain. You glance at the woman sitting next to you and she isn't there. You look at the screen, it seems unreal, like a bad film. Are you in a theater at all? Are you in a room filled with water? Are there any people here? Show's over. You're out in the parking lot, wondering how to get home. That was for Colin Kepner and for Judith Wright. Okay, now, do you want to hear a ballad or a poem? Let's have anybody got a preference? A ballad. 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 <coughs> this one, um, I was, you know, uh, 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 no one from my part of the spectrum, uh, as far as I can determine, has ever been known to recover. Uh, that's because that's not because our system of behavioral medicine, medicine, due process of law, and all of that. It's not because they're not doing their job. They are doing their job. They're not doing the work they're supposed that they say they do. They're doing their job. And um, you know, pharmaceutical moguls have to make a living too, I suppose. Um, so nobody's been known to recover, but I'm working on it.
I made up this ballad. I was riding down the road on a big, overly sized red string travel. A people's tour bike. That's another story. It was too big because the nice uh, normal man, oh, I'm sorry, normal's the setting on a washing machine. But the guy at the bike shop had a master's degree. Never measured me. And I was, um, I was riding down this dark road. Under the, I was under the influence of an organic neuromuscular relaxant <laughs> to help undo the effects of the psychiatric drugs when I was a kid, which made a bad nervous system worse. That's what they're supposed to do. Don't kid yourself. Um, and I made up this, I realized, having grown up with weird symptoms, I was getting better through Chinese medicine, 2,000 years old. Eat better, exercise, yeah, right. Um, and it worked. Um, I realized I wasn't a freak of nature. I had a problem, and I could get better. This is for Scott Butler and for Reverend Strength. The wheel rider's head. Left off hard side drawing, left off steady siren dreaming. Shores rise through the morning tide, sure as sailors turn home from the sea. So as the road we run along, we'll be spinning wheels for speed. Before we reach the old front gate, sure a sailor comes home from the sea. Tell of strange, tell of heathen land, tell of great monstrosity. Smiles and frowns around every word as a sailor winds through from the sea. There is this earth, these very hills and roads may come to be. Far fair wind ascend along, a sailor does home from the sea.